Ayubuan, greetings from Sri Lanka. I am Erandati Lokupitiya from the Center for Environmental Initiatives of University of Colombo, Sri Lanka. Uh, today I am going to talk about transforming the pandemic into a gateway for zeroing waste related emissions at the University of Colombo, Sri Lanka. Just to give a brief introduction about our university, it's the oldest and highest ranked university in Sri Lanka. It was established in 1942 by merging Ceylon Medical College founded in 1870 and the Ceylon University College founded in 1921. Our university has a school, a suburban campus, nine faculties, seven institutes, eight centers and several units and cells. This slide shows uh, some pictures. This is our college house, the administrative center of the university. And uh, this is one of the faculties, Faculty of Science, uh, which has a history that goes back to 100 years now. Then about our center, Center for Environmental Initiatives, it was established in June 2017 for promoting sustainable waste management uh, practices and also targeting sustainable environmental initiatives for our university, overall sustainable environmental initiatives for the university. Some of the activities we have conducted so far, waste segregation and distribution of waste bins. Since the CEI was established in 2017, we have been promoting proper waste segregation, biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste on biodegradable waste types and we have distributed bins across our campus and annually we have conducted an e-waste collection program and we have also discouraged single-use plastics on campus uh, for instance uh, we have removed the lunch sheets from our university canteens from since from 2017 there are no lunch sheet used in canteens which has saved more than 1 million polythene lunch sheets per year from going into landfill sites. As you know, if, when mixed waste goes to landfill sites, it can cause methane emissions that can ultimately lead to global warming. So uh, we have also put up awareness boards across campus and we have promoted environmentally friendly products such as reusable cloth bags. And we have conducted school programs on waste management and awareness sessions for our campus staff and students. And from time to time, we have held green talk sessions with various resource persons. And we have our waste storage center where we store recyclable waste in different components and compartments. And from time to time, recyclers come and take away our waste. And we have been conducting an annual waste survey with the participation of more than 30 students each year. And these are some pictures related to that. And these are some findings of our annual waste uh, survey. And this shows the annual waste generation on main campus by different types of waste. And you can see that uh, for each type from 2017, 2018, 2019, the overall waste, waste production has got reduced over time for organic waste, paper waste, polythene, and even for total waste from 2017 to 2019, the overall waste generation has got reduced. So that is the pre-pandemic situation. Now I'm going to talk about the environmental improvement we have been noticing with the COVID-19 pandemic. So since COVID-19 pandemic uh, started from actually from March, 2020 uh, to now, the access of university premises to the community, including the students have been restricted. It has been restricted. And uh, due to that overall waste generation has been reduced by more than 90% in 2020 compared to 2019. It was reduced by over 90% in 2020 compared to 2019. And we have shifted to a paperless digital system with the pandemic. And we have, we have also reduced the transportation needs 
with the lowest number of people entering the premises, transportation needs have got reduced, which has also reduced the overall emissions associated with the transportation. And this is the situation if we had any events uh, during the pre-pandemic period, it needs so many things. So during the pre-pandemic period, any actual or physical events needed electricity, food and water, decorations, sanitary facilities, transportation, uh, cleaning services and uh, stationery, all those things. But currently when we have everything virtually, those virtual events need only the electricity. And uh, with the pandemic situation, we have introduced new environmental and safety guidelines for our university community. We have developed about 131 guidelines targeting various aspects, including energy, water, waste, biodiversity, transportation, awareness, and so on. And this is the cover page of our guidelines, environmental and sustainability guidelines, University of Colombo, produced by the Center for Environmental Initiatives. And with the pandemic, we have promoted literless lunches, zero food waste and associated emissions. And uh, these have led to reduced food waste, what are these? Bringing our own lunch boxes and water bottles. We have promoted bringing your own lunch box and water bottles to the premises. And also literless lunches. That means whoever that comes to the university has to bring his or her own lunch. And whatever food that is left has to be taken home. No food waste has to be added on campus premises. So we have also prohibited dining inside canteens during the pandemic time. So all these have reduced the accumulation of food waste mm -hmm. and uh, any potential methane emissions at landfill sites. So if the food waste is dumped on campus, that can end up in landfill sites, which can lead to methane emissions leading to global warming. So overall food waste and uh, associated methane emissions was about 1% in 2020 compared to 2019. And also with the pandemic, we have adopted a paperless system, a shift to digital communication. Uh, we have been using e-letters, e-application, and all sorts of e-forms. And for any study programs, the, the applications have been online, even interviews and registration all have been online. And digital study material instead of hard copies. And also there are no hard copies of invoices issued. So this slide shows how we have made some safety precautions we adopted at the beginning of the uh, pandemic two guidelines of how we have converted some safety precautions at the beginning of the pandemic to usable, useful environmental guidelines. So at the beginning of the pandemic, there were restrictions on handing over any letters, documents as hard copies, and also uh, the university stopped issuing invoices. So we made use of those safety precautions in developing our newer guidelines, environmental guidelines. The guidelines on this slide corresponds to paper waste. So we have provided the guidelines we have considered for avoiding, minimizing, reusing and recycling paper waste on campus here. And we have promoted greener transportation during the pandemic. And uh, we have uh, commenced shuttle services for commuting our employees on selected routes. And uh, so that has uh, significantly reduced emissions from individual vehicles. And also right now, only about one third of the staff is required to report to work. And since uh, there is online teaching, no students are uh, needed on campus and they are not allowed on campus actually. We have also strengthened recyclable waste management on campus, plus we have expanded composting facilities during this pandemic time. So we have pro produced better guidelines for recyclable waste stored at the waste storage center. And we have promoted uh, reusable masks and sanitizer use in place of soap and water as soap and water could be harmful to the environment. And also uh, uh, the newest development is a new composting facility at the faculty of arts, which has reduced the staff requirement in managing yard waste and also the need for use of chemical fertilizers because now it's organic compost that is being added on plants in the faculty of arts. 
So we already have composting facilities in other faculties and institutes, but this is the newest addition. And we have enhanced the green cover during the pandemic period. We have developed a botanical garden on main campus with medicinal flora and orchard in the Faculty of Education, some roadside tree planting at the Faculty of Technology. And enhancing greenery will definitely help us offset our greenhouse gas emissions further. And these are some of the pictures showing those uh, new tree plantings. And to summarize everything, so currently we are functioning with less than 10% of its daily entrance, minimizing our waste generation, energy, and other requirements. And uh, physical events have been replaced with virtual events. And the need for electricity, water, paper, food, decoration waste, and the pro production of decoration waste all has been minimized or zero. And we have minimized the requirement for presence of ways, presence of staff, including cleaning crew, uh, which has reduced environmental pollution and overall greenhouse gas emissions. We have developed a new tool, a set of guidelines, having about 131 environmental guidelines to enhance the community responsibility in implementing our university's green practices. And we have plans to continue expanding our composting facilities, enhancing green cover, and increasing renewable energy production and consumption. In the future, we already have some renewable energy production and consumption. We are planning to enhance it further in the future. And um, we have promoted literless lunches, shifted to a paperless system, and it's established shuttle services for safer commuting of our employees. All of these are long awaited and promising efforts that came into practice in light of the pandemic related health restrictions. So, the new uh, composting facility at the Faculty of Arts has reduced organic waste accumulation and provided a good supply of fertilizers for faculty's greenery. And we, our, there's a botanical garden with important medicinal plants and orchard and roadside plantings, which have established a good green cover plus which will help establish good green cover in the future when they grow. And also it will help offset our university's carbon emissions uh, while enhancing biodiversity. Next, I would like to thank our uh, Vice Chancellor, Senior Professor Chandrika Vijayaratna, and our former Vice Chancellor, Senior Professor Lakshman Bisanayaka, and all these administrative officers, canteen staff, janitorial staff, and our community, plus our partners and collaborators. And more than anything else, I would like to thank our environmental officers, the current one, Ms. Sadhani Sirivardhana, and the former environmental officer, Ms. Madhumi Khari Vasam, for their immense help and support without which I wouldn't have been able to uh, carry out all these environment related activities. It's only myself and our environmental officer who are at the center and uh, there has been immense support from all these uh, people at our university. Thank you. Thank you very much.